What it do, Harris gang? What it do, Harris gang? It's your girl Coco. Your boy with five is about to come in his room, and y'all already know what today is. It's talk to us Thursday, y'all. Don't kill me, do not kill me. But this video is probably not going to air to the end. Probably Friday night or Saturday, maybe Sunday, y'all. I just need like some me time. I've been going through like a lot, a lot, so I've been real sad. But anyway, we gonna hop right into the video. Y'all see, I got my mom pajama on. My I got my scarf on. Y'all, so I went live on Friday. <clears throat> um i went live on friday but a lot of people wasn't tuning in i think i went live too late or maybe my service was down i went out to this like jazz um it was like a jazz bar type of scene it was good vibes i had so much fun shout out to all the people that actually seen me and wanted to take pictures with me that was like amazing because i mean yeah i just i don't know i guess i think of myself just still regular so it was cool so yeah shout out to y'all y'all and if you're watching this video right now, tag me in the pictures, y'all. I, I would love to see them. Oof. But anyway, we're just going to get straight into the Thursday talk. Okay, discussion talk. Give me one second, y'all. But yeah, here's game. Comment down below. And let me know how what's y'all plans for the weekend. How did y'all weekend go? Because I don't know exactly when this video going to drop. But <sighs> let's get into it. So it says, hey, where is it? All right. So it says, would you ever do locks? Um, Do you mean would I ever get locks myself or would I ever do anyone else's locks? Me personally, I wouldn't get locks myself because I actually like doing a lot of styles with my hair and I actually like to wear my hair down and wrap and stuff like that. So I wouldn't, but um, I only like to do Danielle locks. My brother be trying to get me to do his gel locks, and I'm just like, no, I don't know. I just like to do hers. I don't know why. It says, what is a good date night in your opinion? It just depends if we doing it on a budget or if we going all out. So if we doing it on a budget, the perfect date night to me is like making your living room into like a little tent fort type of thing, putting the lights around that you could get from like five, five below or the Dollar Tree um turning on like a scary movie or a romantic movie preferably i would like a romantic movie ordering like takeout chinese or something you know just vibing out with your significant significant other now if we talking like high class i like to eat at like flemings mordens mastro's all those places y'all i love food going to like um echo park in la and getting on the ducks with the lights, y'all. Just a lot of stuff. But that's just real simple and basic. Um, what's favorite what's Coco's favorite show right now? Coco's favorite show right now, y'all, don't laugh at me. Is Supergirl. Coco's loving Supergirl right now. I watch it so much, like I'll be so mad when I fall asleep because I gotta rewind, rewind, rewind. So my favorite show right now is Supergirl. Is saying, how did you prepare yourself mentally for motherhood again after losing baby G? That's a good question. So how I mentally prepared myself for baby five after we lost baby G is, I don't think I was, I don't think I was prepared. Like I was terrified. I was, I was, I was stressed out. Me and Danielle, we, Danielle used to make comments like, well, maybe it just wasn't time or maybe God was trying to show us something but like that was really like the devil trying to bring us down and telling us like we didn't need a family or like you know just 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 trying to make us not happy so when i really prepared myself was when i started to see my stomach show like wow okay we're doing this like i couldn't even fully get with the whole pregnancy until after the um 23 weeks because y'all know i lost genesis i mean yeah i lost genesis around 22 and a half weeks so I couldn't even really get with it. And then when I really started showing it, I'm like, okay, we doing this. So I think I had to wait to see myself really big because I couldn't imagine it because I was already big with Genesis. Like my stomach was humongous with Genesis and then baby five, my stomach wasn't. So I think it took me to like really be like, damn, like I had to be pregnant in my stomach. I had to be like not able to walk. My feet was swelling up when I really was like, okay, I think we could do this. And then like we prayed so much and me and Danielle, we took time from social media, from YouTube. We, well, we didn't even, we had just started YouTube. We took time from TikTok. We took time from Instagram. And then that's when we really started taking TikTok serious. So, like, our mind was just 
other places so i wasn't really too depressed if that makes sense it says when did you know danielle was the one and don't say when you first see her on instagram you'll be watching this it wasn't when i first seen her on instagram i figured out she was the one when she had this something it's not even included in this case right now y'all finna laugh i realized that i really liked her when um we was told we had a date i don't know if i told y'all this we had a date and I was getting my hair done. My homegirl was hooking my hair up or whatever. We had a date that night. I want to say it was Friday night. I just got off work. I went straight from work to get my hair done. So me and Danielle have been talking all day. And she's like, okay, I'm going to go to the mall. I'm like, okay. Next thing you know, I get up like three hours later. I'm like, damn, she ain't writing me back. I'm like, I'm going to be so mad if she flaked and all this other stuff. Next thing you know, I get a call from the sheriff's department that, oh, you have a collect call from Danielle Harris. I'm like, huh? And then I'm like, oh, she got my number my heart. I'm like, what the hell? But we wasn't even, like, serious like that. But I was rocking with her. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, because I had never talked to nobody in jail before. I'm like, the first thing I said when she got on the phone, I said, Danielle, what did you do? So, yeah, that's when I realized she was the one. Because if it was somebody I just didn't give a, give a heck about, I would have just put a call from Danielle Harris. Click, because I'm not going to put no money on my phone. I know that's not mean, but y'all ask. So I told y'all. Um, it says, so before pregnancy, did you have any clue that Danielle would have to go to jail? And if so, would you have wanted to wait to have baby five or would you have, or would you have, wait, oh, or would you, or, and would you have wanted to have baby five? So before the pregnancy, okay, when Danielle come home and she do her documentary or whatever, y'all gonna get the details, but I'll try to sum it up so I'm not telling too much of a story that's not mine, but, um, so yeah, we always knew it was a possibility she would go to jail, but that was in the back of our mind because we paid so much, her and her family, we all paid so much for a lawyer and she was not supposed to do time at all um, once we had got this other lawyer or whatever. And, but we always knew it was a possibility she would do jail time seeing the, the, um, how, the how the case was, what type of case it was and stuff and but we still wanted our family because we knew that it, she was only going to have to do a minimum amount of how many years that they gave her or whatever but that was at the end so we found that out when they took her in how many years she was going to have to do because originally when we went to close out her case that was it it was supposed to just be probation i know she was on house arrest for a long time but that's so much that i just said i can't even say no more but we did know that it was a possibility that she could go to she would go to jail but we knew she would she wouldn't go away for a large amount of time like you know so um it says you you finally doing the live friday yeah i was doing live friday but this wednesday because everybody keep dming me telling me they didn't catch it this wednesday we're gonna go live and do wing wednesday i'm gonna have everything ready in advance i'm gonna have mama coco here and we're just gonna be vibing out y'all so comment down below if y'all ready for wing wednesday um it says will you ever facetime one of your supporters i'm definitely down to facetime supporters right now i'm trying to figure out what's going on with our mac like Max is supposed to be able to FaceTime, but instead of it FaceTiming, like, from our email, it's FaceTiming from a number, so I'm trying to fix that right now. Um, they say, please, Coco, I'm begging you, can we please have Taco and Coke Tuesday? I love you. We definitely can have Taco and Coke this Tuesday. Then we, on Wednesday, we're going to have Wing Wednesday. Like, it's only right. Um, okay, this is a long one. Say... It said, hey, Coco, I don't know if you see this or not, but I'm 25 weeks pregnant. My emotions are just everywhere. Everybody's showing their true colors and I have family. I had to cut off everybody I meet, everybody from mama to sisters. My mom recently put me and my kids out her house, and my sister said something, too, with it also. I heard that little slick comment that was being said, but no one ever said it to my face or behind my back baby i just want to say i'm so sorry that you're going through this because you are 25 weeks um and really i know how i feel like when you get ready to cut somebody off i've cut family off um while i was pregnant and i know how that could be so if i don't want to talk about this on the video i wish i would have pre-read it because i wouldn't even read it on here email me and let me know you don't have to rewrite everything but just email me and we can talk personal I don't know like maybe we can like get your room or something for a day or something because i already know how that is like in pieces everything when you're pregnant okay let me check on five y'all let me check on five okay y'all i'm back 
so it says um it says let's take a sec to admire how loving and how open you are with us we really appreciate that thank you so much i'm happy that y'all like that i'm open and stuff and i'm happy that that y'all talk to me like a lot of times i was like talk to us thursday is boring and stuff like that but like not only do y'all talk to me about y'all problems but i talk to y'all about my problems too so like i appreciate y'all just as much it says what do you feel is your purpose of life what is your love language this was this is crazy because my love language is giving like i will give a person my last not just materialistic things like i'm talking about all of me my love my loyalty like if, if Danielle said she wanted 50 kids out of me i will give you everything like i just like to give and just make whoever's with me like them, like i like to make them my priority like outside of my kids and stuff like that um my purpose of life i feel like i was put here on this earth like you know to like have kids and just keep our generation going keep our family going i always like i wasn't so happy when i was a kid like i wanted like i wanted more and like i did a lot when i was a kid but i just want my kids to make sure they have more and i feel like they put he put me in danielle's life like to change each other like because we changed a lot it said hey coco i love harris gang you are doing a great job with baby five you are the best thank you um it says hey coco and, and five i hope all is well with the fam for your loved ones till it's backwards backwards y'all it says do you believe that you could love somebody too much i don't believe that you can love a person too much because you i just don't believe that you can um do you still want to have twins i definitely want to have twins like i'm determined to have twins it say coffee or tea i don't drink neither coffee nor tea but when i was pregnant i drank a lot of tea so every now and then i have like bedtime tea while i'm here at home are just like positive tea but i don't like the taste but i just drink it because i feel like it helps me like you know um it says what's your favorite drink from starbucks coco does not drink starbucks y'all um your mom is really funny i wanted to see them short ribs girl and she ran them back but i'm gonna take a picture next time she cooking i'm gonna show y'all um it says is romance the only child so romance is the only child so like i told y'all before romance is my brother's son my brother is like 45 i believe and um he is the only child yes he is um you don't eat pork i don't eat pork but before y'all come for me like pepperoni okay i eat pepperoni i know that's a little backwards but um and that's it um it's not nothing against pork or nothing like that I probably would eat it but as far as cooking it at home i don't cook it or nothing like that and when i go out i don't order it if that makes sense it says hey girl i love the bun what's your next hairstyle i do not know what my ha next hairstyle will be but maybe y'all can help me and figure something out because i need another hairstyle it says will five be sleep in his room when his mommy come home free danielle um i'm scared to let five sleep by himself he has so many attachment issues but I think it's time that I start bed weaning him just to sleep on his own. But as y'all know, five room has, has been decorated for a while. So I have to actually take his blankets off and drop them off at the cleaner so they can like clean them thoroughly and stuff. Because I don't want him to like break out from all the dust and all that stuff. But yeah, Harris Gang, that was some real good questions. I only asked the ones that was on my page because I actually got to go help Five's Godmom with some things. But I just wanted to come tune in with you guys. Um, Just a little brief update on Danielle, though, you guys. So seven people tested positive in her unit that she's in. Danielle lives in like a dorm room style type of thing. One person that sleeps on the same row as her tested positive, you guys. So the prison is shut down. Y'all know usually I have like family. I mean, I have visits and stuff on the weekend. We're not having a visit. They canceled it. I could not book for the following weekend. So I doubt that we're going out there. So I'm trying to just like gather my thoughts. Danielle mom was originally going to come out here, but she's not going to come anymore. And y'all, so Danielle just basically said that she's trying to stay safe in there. Yeah, out here, people make it like COVID is not much. But in there, in prison and not being able to have, like, the things that you need to, like, disinfect your area and stuff. Like, you know, it's pretty fucked up. Sorry for cussing. So that's what she's dealing with now, trying to stay as clean as possible and just stop, try to stay away from everybody because they do not have the things that they need and that we have out here and that we're able to use to make sure that we're safe and stuff from COVID. Whew. 
but okay here's gang i love y'all baby five love y'all most of all then y'all love y'all don't forget to tune in for tacos and coke tuesdays and wing wednesdays and if y'all have not already make sure y'all join that mama group because i'll be in there faithfully even when i'm not posting on here i'll be in there peace out